Hi Pisces, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Thank you guys for the love, the support, your donations, and your um super thanks. Your um uh, yeah, your super chats. I'm sending that love right back to you all tenfold, okay? Um, let's see what's going on here. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work. Any dark magic that is sent to harm Pisces and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the center. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from our Pisceans. And protect me as I channel the messages for Pisces. Pisces, there's a lot of illusions going on around here, honey, so... I don't know. Just take your time when making certain decisions, man. Let's see. What's going on here for Pisces? New boo. Okay, we got new love, new chance in love, exploring feelings, honeymoon stages. Okay, let's see what else. Blank slate. Starting over, leaving the past behind, hitting the reset button, new chapter. intrusion a lot of pink here okay it's crazy because we got the empress at the bottom of the deck so um this is you in this uh feminine energy possibly man or woman you're open to receiving love right now okay but it's a intrusion obsessive interest invasion of privacy disrespecting boundaries snooping around okay so somebody trying to see who you're dating honey they're in your business like always Hmm. Somebody could be spying to see too if their spell work is working is what I just heard. <sighs> so let's see. What's new boo trail? Let's see what this new boo is about, honey, because I don't know. Eight of swords in the reverse. Hmm. What's new, boo? Three of Wands reversed. What's new, boo, here with the Three of Wands reversed? So I feel like, honestly, Pisces, I feel like you have, um, you've ascended, you've upgraded. So the vibration that you're on right now, people cannot spy or look into you or try to do magic on you to see something. It's none of their fucking business. And I feel like spirits block their ass out. Okay, you've ascended. So that means you're getting closer to the love of your damn life, period. You've been the love of your own damn life. But three of wands in reverse is restricted options or not having a sense of foresight. Somebody can't see something. Yeah, knight of pentacles in reverse. I'm going to take it since it flipped on out. Tower. So there's a lack of growth here or expansion. Maybe when it comes down to whoever this Virgo is, maybe this Virgo is trying to spy on you or whoever this is. For some of you, somebody's not growing or maturing. This Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is something here where somebody starts something but never completes it. Okay, so they're being restricted from you and you're getting a new boo because somebody is not... They're stuck. Somebody's options are restricted or they're doing it them damn selves. This could be somebody here that's being really superficial or materialistic. Maybe they're more, more worried about their money over you or somebody's a workaholic or I don't know. But uh, mm. what's a uh, three of wands reverse? Could be an Aries or a Virgo here. Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, so delays or setbacks. Somebody here is trapped or stuck. Mm. Yeah, someone's at a stalemate. Ace of Wands in reverse. This could be delays in travel plans too. I'm getting um, a lack of interest. There, it's like the spark is gone somewhere or it's dying out because 
something is not being worked towards. Somebody's not growing or maturing. Okay. This is a lack of passion or desire or, I don't know, a loss of interest. What's the three wands reverse? Ace of wands in the reverse. Page of, page of swords reverse. So, I feel like, okay, for some of you, there's some sort of disappointing news coming in about someone. Okay, a page of swords in reverse is bad news. Some sort of plan or strategy is not working. And maybe somebody trying to do something here, maybe just following you to watch you. They're disappointed because they're not going to see something. Something, somebody is like cut off from your life or whatever. So they need to mind their business. The Hierophant with the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all have somebody coming in for a commitment. There's a new contract here coming in between you and this King of Pentacles person. So Spirit wants you to open up to new opportunities. And whatever this is back here, I feel like they ask getting ready to get some bad karma. I didn't mean to say that. They could be getting ready to get bad karma or they could be getting ready to lose their opportunity with your ass. <clears throat> because in a minute, you're getting ready to get tired of the back and forth. I feel like somebody's back and forth. They make promises that they never keep. Knight of Pentacles reverse. So what's the page of swords on the reverse? The tower. This could be somebody too. You're not you're not speaking to them. Yeah, there's no there's no conversation or something like that. So I feel like you're losing interest. You're losing trust for somebody too, is what I just heard. Like, what's page of souls in the reverse with the tower? Aries Scorpio. Okay, the hangman. Yeah, so there's a tower moment coming in because I feel like this is causing a bunch of stuck energy for nothing. Okay, there's getting ready to be a shift in perspective. With the tower, I feel like you're getting ready to release something or release someone that's getting ready to cause the tower. Somebody getting ready to get some bad news because I feel like you're moving forward. Pisces, that's definitely you with the with the hangman. You could be going through an internal tower and whatever sacrifice you have to make could be quite disappointing. But you know that you have to release something in order for you to move on. So... What's the Ace of Wands in the reverse? Whatever this is, I'm just getting, like, disappointment. But, it, you know. Yeah, the Five of Cups in the reverse. What's the Ace of Wands reverse, Five of Cups reverse? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, and the Four of Pentacles. So that's releasing. That's moving away. Four of Pentacles reverse is letting go. Letting go of people, places, and things that's not serving your ass. Eight of Cups is walking away because you're not emotionally fulfilled. You see the bigger picture of something. And Five of Cups is you moving on. Something is going to be disappointing. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Or somebody else is in your energy with this. But you might be disappointed that you have to walk away from somebody because they're not growing. They're not maturing. And... They can't see their way out of their own damn situation. So I feel like that's, that could be blocking you. Okay, the whole collective is going through this. Just in different ways, different stories. Yeah, this is you. The high priestess in the reverse with the ten of wands. Yeah, something that's stressful is burdensome. I feel like uh, it's blocking you, your intuition, too. Holding on to something or carrying somebody's dead weight or burdens. It's not... No. <laughs> no. What's the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, yeah, the Empress. Somebody is stopping and going with the Empress? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> but this is teaching you self-worth, though. Okay, this is raising your self-esteem. Because mm. for some of you, you've been ready to find out. For some of you, either you've been ready to find out somebody that's karmic to you is down low. And I feel like you don't give a fuck because they're karmic. But for others of you, you could be getting ready to find out that somebody around, like your twin, is down low or something. But they're not confronting you. They're not saying it. And this is why the contract is getting ready to be voided because they're down low. You can't do anything with this person if you're straight and you want a straight man. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be honest. This could be disappointing, honey. What the fuck? Or you can write, I don't know. I don't know. 
Maybe you can really find out why somebody is stopping and going like this or whatever this is. What's this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse with the Empress? Taurus Libra. For some of you guys, you're pregnant by somebody that's a deadbeat. And I feel like you're just going to have to accept the fact that you got to take care of these kids on your own. Sad but true, child. But either way, though, the star with the Empress, I feel like you have a destiny to fulfill. It's time for you to go towards your North Node. So you can really have to end something. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, the star. You guys could be seeing the public eye. And somebody is too scared about how they look. They're scared about their, like, their appearance or the way that you would look at them or I don't know. But I feel like with the star here, this seems like it's big, too. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart towards Libra. You could be dealing with another Pisces. Mm. So... child <laughs> i don't know what's going on but yeah so this is you staying positive i feel like you're staying hopeful about something but i feel like you feel inspired or motivated to kind of like move forward or somebody looks at you as an inspiration but shit they ain't that inspired because they ain't coming forward with the truth i feel like somebody's hiding something but divine intervention is here with the tower and the hangman for you to release something or you're going to realize something here or something that's coming in is going to be shocking. This is bad news, but it's going to set you free, though. So I don't know. Maybe it's your spirit guys letting you know some shit. What's uh the star? OK, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody is coming in to sweep you off your feet, too. You're getting your wish. I just don't feel like you, you know. it's not who you think it is or it's not the way that you think it's going to play out or something like that. For some of you, just a karmic masculine around you though. That's getting ready to be shocked about you moving forward or whatever. Something could be coming out too about some sort of gossiping or whatever. I'm not really channeling that right now. I'm, I'm, please. I'm sick of the gossip and shit. <laughs> I'm sick of channeling shit about gossip. Damn. So, yeah, but the Knight of Swords, there's some, yeah, there's some sort of big changes coming in. Or you're getting ready to seize an opportunity here. But I feel like this is you being open to receive. You're getting ready to want to accept something because it's coming in. Could be an Aquarius or a Gemini or this is you making those changes. What's the, what's the Empress? Okay, Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been trying to get to something. Something has been hard. You've been fighting for something here. Some of y'all don't even know what you... You know you've been fighting for something, but maybe you think you think that you're fighting for someone. <laughs> and it's not. You're fighting for yourself. Okay, something feels plot twisty. But um, Nine of Wands here. So that's like not giving up hope or persevering through something something has just been an ongoing battle here like dead ass who shall 411 is on the clock what's the not what's the temp what's the uh the empress with the nine of wands so spirit is telling you not to give up keep going but i just feel like okay the queen of pentacles in the reverse Yeah, the sun reverse, queen of swords. Yeah, this is oppression here. Something has been keeping you stuck or there's been a lot of pessimism here. There's something that you just can't see. Okay, you can't see something. Ten of swords reverse, page of pentacles reverse. Something has just been an ongoing battle with fighting off this damn... For some of you, this is a queen of pentacles in reverse attacking you. Okay, somebody is just keep on attacking. But I feel like now you've reached the Empress status. So with you reaching the Empress status and somebody else not, I feel like you get ready to really start pouring into yourself. Really, Queen of Pentacles is that too. You can really pour into yourself. Some of y'all have a project here that you need to continue to work on. Maybe you're stopping and going, stopping and going. You need to get that together. Okay, so you can continue doing what you need to work on. Okay, it's part of your purpose. But I feel like you can really see movement with that, though, because something has been keeping you stuck. It's been blocking your progress. 
and you need to release it. So, um, let me see who this Queen of Pentacles reverse man. The devil. Okay, yeah. Queen of Pentacles reverse with the devil. Capricorn. The High Priestess. Excuse me. Wow, the Hierophant. So I feel like your destiny is getting ready to be fulfilled. It's just, this is just like mysterious. It's a mystery here. You don't really know. Somebody is doing magic here to try to play with your subconscious. So you need to be mindful. I feel like right now it's just time for you to pamper yourself. Don't make any impulsive moves. Okay, the Knight of Swords, it could be impatience. But that's you again, Pisces with the High Priestess. There's some sort of temptations here or addictions or something like that that's playing out for you to heal from it or move away from it or whatever. Or somebody else is around you. This Now, I'm getting like somebody in your life is stopping and going, stopping and going because the devil is in their ear. And it's confusing you here too because you're connected. You're deeply connected to this person. So it's like causing a bunch of fucking confusion. Yeah, it's like... Uh, what's the nine of wands your intuition is telling you something though what's the nine of wands 414 okay the king of wands what's nine of wands king of wands the, the, the lovers <clears throat> Some of y'all getting ready to meet somebody new. I don't know why, like, now either they come in a new energy or this is renewed. Because somebody up here, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like that's somebody, like, they're not making promises that they can keep, period. For some of you, I I'm getting two energies. This is a karmic masculine here that I don't know what the fuck they were trying to do, but they're not able to do it to you. And then I'm getting, there's somebody that you do have interest in. They probably got interest in you too. Nine times out of 10, you're the empress. Who don't got interest in the empress, period. <laughs> okay. But they're not, you can't depend on them. You can't rely on them to do anything for you. They're not reliable. They're not dependable. They're not definitely not taking action. And I feel like this person is like materialistic too. Like they focus more on their money or they're working so much that they're forgetting about your connection or something like that. And I feel like you don't deserve that. You deserve true love or you deserve to be loved up on, period. So, um, I don't know. Maybe there's a shadow aspect of you coming up that needs to be healed. And Spirit is about to put you through some sort of a, like a, a test. And you might have to learn this through other people. So just be mindful. Pay attention to the patterns, okay, that you have going. All right. Um. The lovers here, there's going to be some sort of major decision or major choice you have to make. I feel like there could be a third party too. Somebody else got to make a major decision. And I feel like you've been going through it, waiting for somebody to make a decision or whatever. But while they sitting up here doing that, I feel like you're growing into the empress. It's like, what the fuck? But the, the lover talks about union partnerships this could be you coming into union with yourself this king of wands could be a catalyst for your growth mm. but it's been like an ongoing battle somewhere yeah the strength card reverse and the two of swords and the six of swords in a reverse somebody here Somebody's in their ego. Shrimp card reversed with the two of swords. Somebody's heart chakra is closed off or they're stuck. Somebody can't seem to make a decision. Maybe this is you where you don't feel confident enough to make something, make a decision. Or this somebody else's ass. I don't know. But I feel like you can really let all that shit go. And people can really show you with their actions what the fuck they got going on. Because 
It's just way too much going on here. Somebody is lying to you about a third party. Somebody is addicted to toxicity. There's just a lot going on that you don't know about, Pisces. So, I don't know. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I just feel like you might have to let this go. <sighs> the Emperor Reverse. Child, please. It's a lot. This is a whole fucking lot. <laughs> Uh, what's blank slate starting over leaving the past behind hitting the reset button new chapter yeah the emperor reverse what's a blank slate with the emperor reverse eight of swords reverse you can be letting go of, of a few people to be honest mm, for some of you guys Somebody, there's a chronic feminine that's pregnant. And whoever they're pregnant by, you're not the daddy. And they're the father of their child is a deadbeat. And they're trying to have you around to take care of them financially. Huh. <laughs> okay, so you could be a man that's getting ready to get, get a new boo. Okay, confirmation. You could be a man that's getting ready to get a new boo. And it could be this high priestess. So it could be you, divine feminine, if you're watching. For some of you, that's the case. Okay, cause of uh, mm, but uh, you know, but anyways, so yeah, look, we got the emperor in the reverse with the emperor's upright. <clears throat> so somebody here ain't matching your damn energy. This could now this either could be a karmic masculine that's a narcissist, or this is a divine masculine that's not quite. They haven't gained the skills and the wisdom that they need to become, like, to actually be your divine masculine right now. One or the other. <clears throat> but I feel like, too, for some of you, this is you letting go of... You, you're releasing something as far as, like, narcissistic abuse, narcissism here, psychological abuse, mental and emotional abuse. Something like that. Whatever kept you in this cycle of dating the same spirit with different bodies, I feel like you're releasing it. Eight of Souls in reverse here is you're not going to be a victim to whatever the fuck this is. Okay, you're not going to stay stuck. You're not going to stay silenced because somebody's trying to have complete control over you with the Emperor in the reverse possibly. And I feel like you're not going to do that. <laughs> so you're coming out of your head about something. You're coming out of this self-sabotaging energy, which is good. Yeah, let me see. What's the emperor in the reverse? Okay, the full reverse. Aquarius. What's the emperor reverse? Full reverse. Two of wands in the reverse. Somebody here fears the unknown. It either it's you. Or it's either you or there's somebody around you that does. The full reverse is distractions. Too, or somebody around you behaving childish as fuck. Somebody don't want to change their ways. Somebody's being really childish and petty. Somebody has been making like really foolish, dumbass decisions. This could be somebody not taking action towards you too because they're finding out that they're not the father of a child after they had you sitting back waiting. So they, they don't they don't they don't know what to say to you either. I feel like you can ready to let all they ass go. I promise you are. If somebody don't say what the fuck they need to say and be honest, you can ready to be done with every fucking body. Yeah, it's like you've been working on yourself. Eight of Pentacles here, Six of Swords in the reverse. But it's like you feel you've been trapped or something is like um slow progress. Something is slowly progressing. And I just feel like you're thinking like, damn, you know, I should be a bit further in like where I'm trying to get to by now. You know, things do happen in divine timing, but something is off. Something is off. Six of souls in reverse. So I feel like somebody's trying to run away from their consequences or whatever this is. Something. Six of souls in reverse. Two of swords. That's like trapped, stuck. Two, you know? You don't got time. <laughs> I just feel like that's some bullshit. I, I just, I don't know. I can't wrap my head around it. So... Two of Wands in reverse is like restricted options or what's this two of Wands, Cheryl? 
What's the one of the rest? Oh, people with their fucking problems. Ten of swords in the reverse. You gotta be saying 10 10. Something's definitely over. What's two of wands reverse? Ten of swords reverse. Three of swords in the reverse. King of cups reverse. Yeah, somebody's emotionally unavailable. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh. The grass is greener. Hmm. Somebody here want to reconcile with you, but they fear the unknown. They realize that the grass is greener <laughs> wherever you're at. Okay. This is what everybody can really realize soon because I feel like Divine Feminine is getting the fuck. Like, you got, you've been working too hard to be sitting here waiting for some man or woman or whatever the fuck, whether you're a Divine Feminine and male energy or not, honey. You've been working too hard on yourself to be sitting here waiting for somebody to come to you when they're the ones that did you dirty or when they're the ones that ghosted you and, and they haven't said it like i feel like you're over it you don't want to deal with it people need to get that shit together real shit ten of swords in the reverse i feel like uh the worst shit the worst could be yet to come for somebody's ass because they forfeited their fucking contract with you or they just did you wrong and now they don't want to say anything about it so i feel like yeah you're over it what the fuck somebody getting ready to be a damn emperor in the reverse that has somebody that had the potential to be a divine masculine. They're now getting ready to be an emperor in the reverse. 424 on the clock. You guys will be seeing those synchronicities. Three of souls in reverse. Child. What's the full reverse real quick? Somebody here is holding on to some sort of grudge. Or it's kind of like they want to make peace. They want to take the swords out of your back now. Or whatever this is. But it's just like, what the fuck? What's the fool in the reverse? Okay. Wow. The two of cups. The temperance. What's the fool reverse with the two of cups? Cancer Venus. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Somebody has to make some sort of confession, too, that they're in love with you. But I feel like they're not taking the, the chance to do that. The Fool in the reverse. Okay. I feel like, too, somebody got caught doing something. Hmm. Hold on real quick, y'all. I'm looking at some shit. <laughs> Someone can have an Aquarius, Moon, Cancer, Venus. Somebody here could have been two-faced. I feel like, too, this is like somebody consciousness is kicking in with the Seven of Swords in reverse. It's like they want to turn over a new leaf or something like that they could see it now either now you're in love or you're getting ready to be or this is somebody here that's in love with you but didn't realize it until now after everything transpired and then they're not taking a leap of faith somebody's refusing to like take like take a risk on love or something i feel like bro what what's the seven of swords in the reverse okay nine of cups in the fucking reverse what's seven of swords reverse nine of cups reverse child these people want to get on my fucking nerves. Because, I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe me and my collective, too. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. I know for me, I'm very, like, I'm a get, I'm a go-getter. I'm not going to fucking hide my feelings or none of that. I'm going to tell you direct, like, yeah, I fuck with you, I want you, period. It's what you want to do. It's either yes or no. Maybe, I don't know, people get intimidated or nervous, especially men, because you can see the men that are coming up in this fucking reading, they're running and all that crazy ass shit. Yeah, somebody here, that could be what that is. Seven of Swords in reverse, somebody's running away from something. Somebody's like running away from love here, and that's sad. You and this person has the potential to be in a really nice partnership, but somebody keeps on running the, the fuck away. I don't get that. I guess because, I don't know. 
And I guess I've just never been that way. I never ran away from any damn thing. Like, I make mistakes, right? But I'm not going to run away. Like, if I want you, I want you. What the fuck? I'm honest with you the whole way through. Like, yeah, today I'm not feeling it. I don't like what you did. I don't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck. Or whatever. It's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like somebody too, if this if this is a, a karmic masculine here, this person has tried to bring a lot of distractions to a relationship that could be coming in for some of you, or it's just your love life in general. Somebody here is just two-faced as fuck. They're really fucking two-faced. And I feel like, you know, they're not getting their wish when it comes down to you. So they need to leave you the fuck alone, period. But, um... Now in a custom reverse, somebody's like miserable. This could be somebody too that has addictions. I don't know if it's sex, drugs, alcohol, or if it's just them like in their ego, whatever their ego entails, honey. That shit, Ace of Souls reverse, Seven of Wands in the reverse, Six of Cups in the reverse, Nine of Souls reverse. Uh, no, <laughs> this is a mess. This is a fucking mess here. So something what? Something failed? Somebody's like admitting defeat in a situation. I feel like somebody ain't got no fucking backbone. That's what you don't got time for. You don't got time for it. Absolutely not. What's this two of cups real quick so I can move on? It's like, it's like you know, this reading is disappointing because it's like the people around you failed you. You know what I'm saying? Like the for some of you, you're a woman here going through this with these men. Okay. If you're a man, flip the damn rolls. A woman could be doing this to you. Don't get mad at me in the comments. I'm just looking at the damn cards, okay? But it's like these, 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 they failed you. It could be two. Two masculines here. Uh, for some of you, this is the same masculine. Either way, they're a disappointment. What's the damn two of cups? Like, the shit is just fucking disappointing. And I wish they would get out of y'all energy. If they don't have no intention on coming around, doing the right thing, speaking the truth, if they're in and out back, if, like, if they don't have any intention to do anything right, they need to leave you the fuck alone. Don't even come back. Don't say shit. So that way somebody can finally move the fuck on. Motherfuckers keep trying to make themselves relevant. For what? To play games? I feel like no. No. Get the fuck on somewhere. What's this damn two of cups? Seven of Cups, yeah, it's like, what? It's confusion, for what? When two people love each other, why the fuck is there so much confusion? Or this is somebody here trying to attack a union, one or the other. I feel like somebody's just trying to attack your love life in general. But I feel like you're getting ready to say sayonara to this shit too. It's sad though, it's like, what the fuck? It's like something is just an illusion, it's a fantasy. Okay, like... You have, you probably do have other options and shit here too, but it's like, well, but I love that person though. That's hard. And somebody keep on acting like it's not there or something like that. I'm getting there's a divine masculine doing this and then there's a karmic masculine that's trying to get in the way and they really don't have good intentions, but I feel like somebody divine masculine getting on my fucking nerves. I know that. And they asking where to get left too. You getting ready to get a new damn contract in a minute. Okay, period. Nobody got time for that shit, bro. Love is love. You love somebody, you need to say that shit before they fucking pass away. Then what? You're going to be sitting up there regretting what you didn't do or what you didn't say to somebody. That's crazy. I don't believe in that shit, bro. I feel like if you love somebody, you need to let their ass know. And act like it. Because you can let them know. The fuck? I don't get it. I don't get this. It's about to piss me off. It really is. So I feel like right now, Divine Feminine, you need to choose yourself. Whatever's going to get you to this Ten of Pentacles, you need to choose that, okay? This is, you're meant to get married. You're meant to be loved on, be cherished. You're meant to own a really nice business and, and you're meant to do that. So I feel like you need to go ahead and get that. Just period. Nobody got time for this. Nobody got time for it. Move accordingly, move smart. But... Whatever is not bringing you clarity, it's an issue. Know that. 
Especially in the terms of your heart. Like, no. What's the eight of swords in the reverse? There's too much confusion around this shit. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is somebody else's feelings. Like, right now, trying to... They're projecting how they feel. Maybe you need to cleanse your energy or something like that. Because you don't want to miss out on something. But I don't really see anything right here. Besides this King of Wands and the Lovers and the Nine of Wands. That look like it's hard too. Then we got Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is not consistent. You don't got time for that bullshit for sure. Then you got the Emperor in the reverse. Somebody is like not taking action. They're not being assertive. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know who's who, what's what. But they all are giving karmic. <laughs> That's probably why you're getting a new boo. Because somebody is stuck in their karmic energy. Nobody got time for that shit. Divine masculine or not. And we all get stuck sometimes. But I feel like you, with the Empress, right now, you're not. And I don't feel like you stay stuck either. So you don't you don't deserve to be stuck with no damn body. You don't deserve that. So it's a no. What's the Eight of Swords in the reverse? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, something is... You're you're done with the self-sabotaging. You've overcame something mentally. If you had any anxiety or fears or you were self-sabotaging, I feel like that's over. Because now you're getting ready to get this Ten of Pentacles, whatever that entails. Yeah, Five of Swords in reverse. No more self-sabotaging. No more self-sabotaging. Something is getting ready to be very peaceful. Something is getting ready to clear up in your life or whatever. Like, I don't know what the fuck somebody got going on, but I feel like a lot of people getting ready to miss an opportunity with the Empress. Okay, that's why every time we do these readings, everything is about the Empress or the Emperor or whatever. But this Empress here is getting ready to live her fucking life or his life. All this dumbass procrastinating and not being open to this and that. Like, no, absolutely not. Stay away. If you're watching me and you are doing this to Pisces or Pisces, if there's a karmic Pisces doing this to cross watcher, bitch, stay away. We don't got time for that shit, bro. Say what the fuck you need to say and make sure you, you say it truthfully. Stop playing on people's feelings and their emotions, bro. That shit is weird as fuck. Say what the fuck you need to say. And if you're not going to say anything, then stay away. Don't come in and out. Stop doing that shit, bro. I would rather for you to stay away. Just don't come. Somebody here getting ready to let a, a loser hoe make them miss out on something. What the fuck? What's the Eight of Swords in the damn reverse with the Ten of Pentacles? Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's getting ready to be a missed opportunity. There is some unrequited love here. I feel like you passed some sort of test or you cleared some sort of generational curse out when it comes down to lovers like this. You're getting ready to clear some sort of mess out because this is a mess and it's not fair. So this is getting ready to be a cancer celebration, ace of cups in reverse, or there's been some sort of repressed feelings or emotions here, whatever this is. I don't know. Eight of swords in reverse is like coming out of some sort of wherever you've been silenced or trapped and you're coming out of it. Whatever this is that's been repressed. Like what the fuck? I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're getting ready to surrender something. You're getting ready to surrender something or this is your damn person hopefully doing it. I don't know. But what's this Ace of Cups reverse? Yeah. Page of Wands. What's the Ace of Cups reverse, Page of Wands? Child, please. <laughs> Nobody got time. Two of Swords. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This this unrequited love shit right here. Somebody here. It's like Page of Wands, Two of Swords. Whoever this is, whoever this is, man. This is like flirting or at the start of something, having a passion or desire for something, but then somebody got a closed heart. Or this is just cycles you've been through that you had to learn from in order for you to become the Empress. But whatever it is. No. Somebody not knowing what to do or not knowing what choice to make. They come in and give you a little bit of something. The page of wands of what? Compared to the Empress? Fuck no. No, man. No. Somebody here. I feel like I feel somebody energy. They're getting on my nerves and they do this quite a lot. I feel like you can raise set yourself free. This is just ridiculous. And everybody in your business, though. Everybody's in your business, but won't say what the fuck they want. No, <laughs> absolutely not. 
No. Mm -mm. I don't know what this is. What's the set of pentacles? <clears throat> Yeah, three of pentacles in, in the reverse. Somebody's not learning a lesson or learning from their past. Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes. They're not. Somebody keeps getting caught up in a cycle for some of you too. It's like maybe somebody could be married or they have family around or something like that. Somebody's very traditional and maybe you're not. Maybe you don't, you're not very traditional. Maybe you probably do want marriage and children and things like that. But you live your life very different. And I feel like somebody here doesn't really, they're too worried about how they look. So if you're not going to conform to what the fuck they want you to look like or whatever, then they don't want you. And I feel like, bitch, that's fine. Say that shit, though. Say it with your fucking chest. Don't keep ghosting somebody and then, what? Okay, Pisces, this reading about to piss me off. I'm about to get irritated. Like, I swear to God I am. I'm about to get irritated. Okay. I don't... What the fuck is that? What's the Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse? The Death Card reverse? Okay. So, okay, cool. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't know what that is. I feel like that's some bullshit. Or, okay. I don't know if this your mammy, your daddy. I don't know if this your family doing this shit. I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe it's you and somebody here, the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Strength card reverse. Not so. I don't know if you're too strong for somebody or what. Maybe this could, you and just this person could just be friends. But if that's the case, they need to say that shit. But I feel like they're showing you with their actions that they don't want nothing serious. And I feel like you need to accept it and move on. <laughs> that's okay, cool. Because, bitch, did, did you forget who you were? The Empress, the High Priestess? Like, please remember. Don't ever forget. <laughs> don't ever fucking forget here. Yeah, somebody, four ones in reverse, four cups. Somebody about to miss an opportunity. This contract is getting ready to be null and void. I mean, this could be somebody here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But let's see, though. So the death card reverse. Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes. Somebody's not putting the work in. They're not being committal. Okay. And somebody's refusing to change or they refuse to let you go, but they're not being committal. So I feel like you're getting ready to let yourself go. This isn't fair. You need to you need to let it go. What's intrusion here? What's intrusion? And I feel like that's exactly what your purpose is about, to be honest. You you're giving me this Lilith energy. Y'all know what happened to Lilith when she didn't conform to what Adam or however Adam wanted to fuck her. Adam wanted to, or something like that, something about sex and Lilith or whatever the fuck, and she decided to do her own thing, so she was demonized for not listening to Adam's ass. I feel like you're getting ready to turn up on these Adam motherfuckers. And that's what you're getting ready to do, because what? They want you to look a certain way or be a certain way to fit they... You know what I'm saying. No, you're the empress. You will always be somebody out here for you. And if it ain't you niggas, then bitch, say that with your chest. Don't keep ghosting and shit. I can't stand no pussy ass nigga. And I can't stand no karmic ass pussy ass nigga at that. They're giving karmic. All of them. That's coming out. Besides whoever this Knight of Swords is and maybe this King of Wands and the Lovers. You need somebody that's going to take action on you, honey. With the King of Wands and the Lovers. I feel like you getting ready to be somebody. You need a leader. You're an empress. You don't got time for the shit. And then the emperor in the reverse. I don't know what that is. Some of y'all just be careful though. Because you might meet somebody and it might not. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. Don't get all rowdy like I am. Be like, yeah, you know, let's go. No. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. I'm just passionate when I speak. Y'all know how I am if you've been here for a long time. But just be careful because the lovers and the king of wands, I mean, that's sexuality or, you know, that's a bit, mm, I don't like the king of wands like that. And then you're the empress, so you got to just be mindful of that. I feel like you're tired of motherfuckers putting you in third party situations or making you a third party. Like they see you as what? Bitch, what? Fuck no. What's this? Uh, Okay, what's intrusion? 
child, please. The, the struggle is real. The moon. What's the intrusion with the moon? Cancer Pisces. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, somebody's doing some black ass magic or they're doing a whole bunch of divination spying to see what's going on and shit. That's what I'm saying. Like what? For what? Or somebody's like watching you or whatever and they're procrastinating on coming towards your ass. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody could be getting readings done on you a lot. Yeah, for some of you guys, you are a reader. You could do something. You could be a tarot reader. But the Page of Pentacles, I mean, the Eight of Pentacles is coming out. So somebody, what, they're watching you at work or they're watching your readings. If you're a reader, they're watching you a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But the Eight of Pentacles is you showing progress. You're, you're self-mastering yourself. You're mastering yourself here. Like, what the fuck? You've mastered a certain part of yourself. What's the Page of Pentacles reversed with the Eight of Pentacles? Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, ain't no drama, no fighting, no none of that. You're not feeding into none of that bullshit. You're focused on your fucking work. So I don't know what somebody's watching. Maybe, I don't know. You're not in conflict with no damn body. You're not in competition with nobody. Somebody's either they watching you a lot to see, okay, is she still waiting? Is he still waiting? I feel like, fuck no. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're fucking not. Your ass getting ready to be surrendered. Somebody getting ready to be surrendered. Like, no, we're not. We're not. None of that. Ain't nobody fighting or there's no need to compete with us, honey, because we ain't competing with your ass. If somebody, if, we, if I got to fight for you, if we got to be this kind of fighting about a, about a bitch that's around, that you have around, I feel like, no, let the bitch have you because ain't nobody doing all that. What's the moon? The chariot. Okay, what's the moon with the chariot? Cancer. The fuck? Knight of Wands in the reverse yeah that's a card of competition and you're winning the competition because you found love within your damn self so it's like what four of cups yeah knight of cups in the reverse queen of cups reverse the ten of cups <laughs> no <laughs> ain't nobody this is a mess i don't know what this is about Maybe somebody here revoked their offer from this Queen of Cups and somebody thinks that someone is coming towards you. But shit, that might not even be the case because I don't see nobody that's taking action towards the Empress besides this King of Wands, the lovers. I don't understand, like... And even still, it looks like something is just... I don't like that, just period. <laughs> so... Mm -hmm. What's this Knight of Wands in the reverse? Or somebody could be scared to come towards you because of fear, due to fear. Somebody not want to take a risk. And I feel like you're the chariot. You're moving on. Like, what the fuck are you saying? What's the Knight of Wands in the reverse? That's a lot of bullshit in this reading today, Pisces. A lot of motherfuckers playing around. They ain't nothing clear on this spread. Nothing. From these people. Because that's different people showing up. I don't see nothing clear. Ain't nobody. There's no clarity here. Five, five of Swords reverse. What's the Knight of Wands reverse? Five of Swords reverse. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, so I mean, I guess what they're seeing is the fact that you're not self sabotaging anymore, or. I feel like if somebody's watching a lot of readings, they don't understand it. They don't know how to they don't know how to interpret the readings. So they just all over the place. But Five of Swords in Reverse is peace and harmony getting ready to come in. I mean, you're getting ready to reach some sort of peaceful resolution in your journey or in your life with somebody. I don't know. I'm not really seeing nobody do anything. But the Ten of Cups is happiness. So I feel like this is what you've reached. You've reached wholeness and completion within yourself. So somebody's watching you constantly to try to figure out your progress and your journey. I feel like, bitch, yeah, you made it. You're getting ready to get married, have children, and live your life the way that you want to live your fucking life. Like, I don't know what the fuck. The temperance here with the King of Pentacles. You could be getting ready to go reconcile with this damn King of Pentacles. I don't know. Hopefully. Or there's going to be, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody here could be doing something too to see 
like they're they're monitoring you so you need to be careful and i don't like that king of wands the lovers because that's giving me a catalyst and i feel like you didn't have enough catalysts how many catalysts do your ass need for you to know that you need to do better <laughs> i mean some people need a hell of a lot and i just feel like bro please <laughs> please lord so i don't know but let's see what's the what, okay what's the chariot somebody here could be moving in silence What's the chariot? The seven of wands and the ace of pentacles reverse. I mean, yeah, somebody getting their ass blocked. Okay, nine of, nine of pentacles reverse, king of swords reverse, justice reverse, knight of cups in the reverse. This could be a karmic masculine from your past too and your energy getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> They're getting on my nerves because what? Mm -hmm. Damn, back hurt. I'm trying to figure out what deck I want to pull from. Somebody here. Somebody here missed an opportunity. And it's huge, too. I feel like you're the opportunity that they missed. Just period. Let me see something. Yeah, this is you. Succeeding on point and killing it. Dominating the competition. Keeping tabs. Badass. Rebound. Absolutely the fuck not, bitch. What? <laughs> excuse, excuse moi. Uh, no. Or for some of you, somebody's watching you because they're stuck with a rebound. And now they want to see what the fuck you're doing or who you're dating. You're growing. <laughs> Something that they decided not to do. They're trying to figure out. I feel like they're in competition with competition with you when it comes down to relationships. Like they're they're stop they're trying to stop you from getting the love of your life while they stay somewhere else. For what though? Like what what somebody's a loser. It's giving me a narcissist. They could be a narcissist. Watching you and shit. It's like for what, bitch? For what? They're trying to feel like they, they're trying to see like oh well have you given up yet are you going to stop fighting like no bitch you're leveling up rose to success accomplishing goals moving on to the next level <clears throat> and as you level up you get better people on your journey and i feel like with that ten of cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You're getting ready to get somebody. Whoever it is. I don't know who it is. We're not going to... I'm not going to keep... You know what I'm saying? Oh, your counterpart, your counterpart. I don't know. You're going to get a counterpart possibly, but it might not be the counterpart you think. Put it that way. Because, <laughs> yeah, we got tendering, online dating, seeking love, interest, meeting with people. Hmm, what else? That could be what you're doing. And I feel like, do you. Just be smart. Okay? Because I don't... Need y'all to be going backwards. You're the Empress and you need to stay that way. I don't need to see your ass coming up as nothing else but the Empress, period. So that means you're moving like the Empress and you're going to make decisions like the Empress. That means you're not going to keep choosing the same spirit, the same narcissist, the same spirit in a different body. Okay, so we have Petty. Immature, small-minded, insignificant drama that I feel like you're not a part of. Blocked out, it came out in the reverse. Rejection, dismissal, and refusal, access denied. Yeah, because you don't you don't do the, the refusal and the, the you you you're not the one being refused or denied. You're doing the refusal and the denials. That's what I get that you're doing. Because somebody I don't know what the fuck kind of game they trying to play. You the one kicking holes out of your energy. They ain't kicking you out. So we got hermit mode, me time, retreating in solitude, sorting things through. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You have Virgo in your chart. Yeah, look. Cock blocking, inaccessible, third party interferences, failed sexual attempts, and wine and dine. And somebody here is watching you date. They're watching you blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my boo. Official status, exclusive relationships, seeing each other openly. And then we have throwing hands. <laughs> okay, what's blocked out? in the reverse by the way 
long road delays trials and tribulations taking the long way period and then we have on pause delays hesitation losing momentum so i feel like you're taking a long way here as far as you like where you could be out here hoeing around or dating every time dick and harry or everybody that shows up in your energy you're not you're taking your time and you're doing it in the work that's just period so now something access is not denied anymore you're getting ready to find the love of your life or somebody they got some sense is coming into your life one or the damn other period what's what's current mode bounce back perseverance overcoming obstacles making a comeback Heart to heart in the reverse. Deep conversations, intimate discussions, blunt and honest. Okay, yeah. Somebody ain't being blunt and honest. Or this is you. Maybe you're not being blunt and honest with yourself. But uh, <clears throat> you don't got time for this. No heart to heart conversations. Well, bitch, we don't want to talk then. We ain't got to talk. That's just period. So what's petty? Sleeping princess, unmotivated, procrastinating, putting things off. The cleanse, detox, purification, ridding negativity. Somebody here is trying to cock block, is trying to stop you and somebody from dating. And I feel like that's a problem too, because if somebody hasn't cleared that shit out of their energy just yet, then I guess they ain't for you. I guess they not. Nobody got time for that shit, Pisces. I'm telling you. That shit is really getting on my nerves in this reading for whatever reason. It's really getting, like, on my nerves. Because people expect you to sit around and wait for them while they try to deal with another bitch. You can't set clear boundaries with the bitch. Okay? Like, okay. Then stay over there then. <laughs> and don't come back until the fuck you ready to speak up. Don't be in and out, back and forth. Stay your ass over there then. And you better hope by the time you come back, I'm not booed the fuck up. I'm not married. Because we we didn't have plenty of booze. We don't want no boo. We want marriage. <laughs> I know for me, I do. I don't know about you. Maybe you do want a little boo. And that's fine. But So it says hung up here. Fixated. Obsessive at attachment. Focusing in. Yeah, somebody mind your damn business. And it's just pathetic. Bye, Felicia. Peace and out. Thank you, next. Leaving and not caring. And Netflix and chill. Chill date. Quality time, intimate moments, power couple. So what's hung up here? No chill, over overacting, overreacting, unable to be tamed, uncontrollable feelings. Yeah, that's in the reverse. Yeah, you're not tripping about shit. Somebody watching you to see if you're tripping or you're you're um, emotionally unstable or something like that. I feel like you're not. You know how to control your feelings. You're good. <laughs> like what the fuck what's hung up here with no chill in the reverse you're not crying you're not mad you're not sad you're not none of that shit you're just really moving on with your life yeah bonnie and clyde ride or die us against the world dedicated partnership what's this bonnie and clyde shit turns party animals sex drugs and alcohol indulging in surface pleasure so for some of you somebody here they ain't somebody's in some sort of relationship they don't want to be in and they sitting back watching you seeing if you all you know fucked up about your situation or whatever it's like somebody's competing that's what it feels like they're competing they're trying to prove some sort of point and bitch the point that you're proving is that you're a loser you're a sucker asshole that's settling and somebody else is not you're forever unhappy and somebody else will not because they're not going to settle. That's the point that you're proving. That's the point you're proving. So what's Bonnie and Clyde with turn here? Vibes in the reverse. No vibes. Just fucking turned up drugs, alcohol, and a bitch here that's on somebody's. It seems like somebody is just. They got with somebody just for the fun or the looks of it. It's nothing there. That's why they so hung up on your ass trying to watch and see who the fuck you're dating. Because they know you're on a journey to self-love. And once you reach that point, you're going to get your, your person. So they're watching. Okay. So we got vibes in the reverse. Sensing something. Unexplainable feeling. Listening to intuition. That's in the reverse. <sighs> What's by Felicia? People are pathetic. <laughs> like... I'm serious. We got sus here. 
Suspicious, questionable motives, sketchy behavior. What's by Felicia? Friend of me. Fake friends, two face hidden intentions. Friend zone. Unrequited love, platonic connection, unreciprocated affection. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys could be getting ready to friend zone somebody. Sheep. Lacking opinions, being easily influenced, and follower. Yeah, you don't got time for this shit either. I feel like there's two different men, men showing up in this reading. <clears throat> like dead ass. Somebody here got frenemies and all kind of shit. And I feel like you don't got time. Who's Netflix and chill? If that's if that's getting in the way of y'all relationship, then okay. Yeah, look, we got booty call, back and call, sexual invitation, all about the sex. <laughs> and keeping it 100, honesty, showing true colors, transparent intentions. For some of you, this is you setting boundaries with somebody. Or you're just letting it be known. Your aura, you're purifying your energy. I'm not nobody to be calling for no booty call, bitch. Don't call me for no sex. Fuck no. So, this is you being honest. I don't know. Some of y'all could have met somebody, blah, blah, blah. And you told they ass no. Mm -hmm. And now somebody's watching. I feel like this person just keeps tabs on you. Somebody keeps tabs on you to see who you're dating or to see where you're at in your love life. So they can sit back and what? Laugh? It's like, bitch, what's, the, what's, what's honesty? Keeping it 100. Sliding through. Yeah, you're like, no. Phone call, text messages, emails, DMs. Yeah, I feel like you're not, you're not settling for no fucking booty call bullshit. Because that ain't what you want. And you're not settling for it. Yeah, body shaming, low self-worth, negative body image, feeling judged. Graduation day. Yeah, and then somebody trying to make you feel bad for living your life too. Just like, what if you did want to be a friends with benefits type of motherfucker with somebody? Okay, that's your prerogative. That's your life. If that's making you happy, spirit wants you to be happy. So if you're not happy with friends with benefits, then that's not what you choose. If you are happy with it, then that's what you choose. And somebody's trying to, I don't know, they're trying to make you feel bad for choosing out of or. Like, you can never win for losing here, period. So it's just like, okay, what's booty call here? I feel like you could be meeting people too that's like this. We got penny pinching, financial struggles, saving up, budgeting. That's in the reverse. Imposter, fraud, stolen identity, faking it. Yeah, somebody just all in your energy, bro. Somebody too is trying to energy harvest. They're doing a whole bunch of shit here. They live their life through you. So I don't know. But anyways, moving on. <clears throat> On blast, in the reverse, outing personal info, being called out, public humiliation. Yeah, if this is somebody trying to do that shit to you, somebody's trying to get information on you so they can call you out on something. That's what they're doing. They're watching you, stalking you, spying on you so that way they can see what the fuck they're going to say about you today. Oppressed ass bitch, whether it be a man or a woman. Somebody is so pressed. They're watching you live your life and then whenever you move or do something here that truly makes you happy, they got to find a flaw in it. It's like, bitch, what the fuck is going on with your life? The fuck? Cloud nine, emotional fulfillment, expectations met, ecstatic. And then we have noise, all talk, meaningless words, empty promises. Child, what's this on blast in the reverse? Succeeding. Yeah, ain't shit that they can say about you. You're living your fucking life. Why they living through you? Why they minding your business? You're living your life. They got to do everything. You control their life. They don't have no control over their life. They live through you. Succeeding on point and killing it, dominating the competition. Somebody's trying to find a flaw because they feel like you're better than them, and I feel like you are. What's Cloud Nine? <clears throat> Sheep. Lacking opinions, being easily influenced, follower. Trashed. Rejection, taking out the trash, kicking to the curb. Yeah, somebody here pressed. Heart fog, mixed emotions, unclear feelings, wishy washy. <laughs> Uh, see you bitches. What's noise? Look, flings, friends with benefits, non-committal, and fed up here. Yeah, you're over it, not having it, frustrated. For some of you, there's a bitch here in competition with you about a man that is being in and out of your life. And I feel like you're getting ready to let him go and let him go ahead and choose that hoe. And if they're not with the bitch, I feel like you're just getting ready to let him go because somebody has too much influence over this person's life and I feel like you don't got time for that weak ass shit. 
if somebody can easily influence you in that sense, then bitch, you're not for me. You're not for me. Like nobody got time for that shit, bro. And the bitch sitting up here, I don't know. It's like, girl, get a life, ho. Get a fucking life. Somebody mad because they got dismissed. Now they're watching you to see if you and somebody here is going to fucking do something. And probably later. But I don't see this person doing what the fuck they need to do right now. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. What's this damn King of Wands right here? Who is this? What's the King of Wands with the lovers? What is that right there? Because nobody got time for that. What's King of Wands with the lovers? Numbing. Self-medicating, drinking away problems, distracting with substances. What else? This could be somebody distracting themselves with sex or they're hooking up with other people. Because for some of you, they're too busy trying to fight off the fact that they have feelings for you. That's something you don't want either, twin flame or not. The fuck is wrong with them? What's this? What's the what's the king of wands and the lovers with the numbing? Knocked up, pregnancy, baby on the way, expecting. What's King of Wands with the Lovers? All the feels. Deep love, soul connection, feeling at home. Hmm. Okay. What's all the feels? Because this could be somebody that got feelings for you, but lucky break, good fortune, good things coming, turning point. What's all the feels? Flaking out. Deserted, abandonment, unreliable. What the fuck is knocked up here? I feel like somebody badass in the reverse. So a bitch here got knocked up. That okay. <laughs> Confident and bold, forced to be reckoned with, taking no shit. That's in the reverse. So somebody's a loser. They're a loser. Bossing up here. Self empowerment, independently, independently living, leading the pack. Yeah, I feel like this is you. And somebody, there's a there's a hole here that's knocked up. And that's what I'm getting over here. Like, I feel like somebody is back and forth with you in and out of your life. Because either they really did get somebody else pregnant and they stuck over there with the bitch. Or they somebody said that they were pregnant. They was fucking around with somebody in the past and they got ended up pregnant, quote unquote, but it's not their baby or whatever. Yeah, we got spiritually woke and new boo, period. So I don't know what the fuck going on right there. But I feel like everybody, if, if nobody is saying what the fuck they need to say to you, they all deserve to be left behind, period. What's this numbing here? Because numbing for what? Buttering up, using charm, persuasion for personal gain, finesse. And then we got game on. Yeah, you're not playing this fucking game. Both playing games, player getting played, taste of own medicine. I feel like you ain't got no medicine to taste. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, zero fucks. Like, disregard, unfazed, and unbothered, carefree, no filter, authentic. It is what it is, sugar free and blunt, period. Like, you're not, like, somebody here really playing these games. I feel like everybody in this fucking spread, everybody, you need to release them all. Whether you want to or fucking not, Pisces. You need to let them all go. Because I don't see nobody here doing what they're supposed to do. And. And if anybody new is coming into your life with that bullshit ass energy, you need to immediately let it go. Use your discernment. <clears throat> Child, please. <clears throat> this reading got on my nerves. Because I can't stand when people play games like that. The mother. Carpet Pisces, so I can go through it. <clears throat> Hell, yeah, that's where everybody getting ready to go. <laughs> we got Bastet here. And everybody is still pining over you because they know they can ready to lose your ass or you're already gone. Yeah, keyword hidden here. Symbols of scythe, raven skull, and rune. And your affirmation is I embrace the mysteries in my life. Hell is the Norse goddess of the underworld who is commonly seen as a crone goddess. 
Uh-huh. I'm being nosy. Her name translates to mean hidden. Her appearance is black and white with half of her body exposed with bones. Hell presides over the realm of the dead, which is also her namesake. While her name means hidden, it's possible to hide anything from hell. I mean, it's impossible to hide anything from hell. She is impartial and sees the truth. She gives no fucks about excuses and suffers no fools, period. Hell considers the underworld to be her home and is happy to stay hidden. Not everything should be visible. Hell has come into your life today to remind you to keep your cards close to your chest. You may need to be more private with your affairs or careful with who you reveal yourself to. Not everything needs to be displayed on social media and not everybody needs to know your business, period. Yeah, they can't find something out. These bitches, they can't see shit that's going on with your life. Good. So you are hiding something. And that's good. People need to mind their fucking business. But they lose their ass. You can enjoy your life without everyone needing to know it. This can be especially important if you have an idea you are percolating. While it is exciting to talk about it, you put it at risk by sharing it. People's criticism can take the wind out of your sails and not everyone is above board. They may steal it for themselves. Or you may spend more time talking about it than getting it done. So it says work with hell. Tap into your intuition to see whether someone is trustworthy before revealing personal information. Add some shadow work in your spiritual practice and keep your word and promises, even the small things, every day. So yeah... I feel like somebody thinks that you with somebody. And I don't see nobody making no moves over here. So I don't know what the fuck they watching for. It's like, bitch, mind your business. Go sit the fuck down somewhere, raggedy asshole. Raggedy asshole, if you're watching, fuck I said. Said what I said and I'm not taking it back. So this was your reading, Pisces. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.